Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. My name is Joseph Scarpelli, and I'm on the sales team here at OpenMesh. I'm really excited to have you here and introduce you to our new user management system. As so I'll kind of be your host, and our sales engineer, Brian Patterson, is also on here, and he will be doing the demo. Uh, I'll kind of walk you through all the features and all the details of uh, the new user, manage user management system. So I will pass it on over to Brian now. Thanks, Joseph. Jumping right in here, and the, the main features of the new system uh, is that you can now create unique user accounts. So no more password sharing between um, users. So if you have multiple people uh, that you work with that are managing your networks, you can give them an individual account to log into. And so now that they have unique user accounts, you can give them uh, user roles and permissions you can only give them the access that they require to get their job done. Third, we have network groups. Uh, so those groups allow you to organize networks in uh, different logical ways. If you manage hotels, you might say that you have a group for your, your Wyndham hotels, a group for your IHG hotels, and so you can keep things organized better. And then fourth, because we have uh, the unique user accounts, that allows us to do audit logging. So you can tell who changed what setting and when. So that's really good to uh, make sure that you have accountability in the management of your network. All right, so uh, previously, Contract's master account would contain all of your networks underneath it. And you can flip back and forth between those different networks, uh, or you could log in to individual networks. But that doesn't really work when you start to get to scale and you have a whole tech support team working under you to provide service to your customers. So uh, we created a new system where you have a CloudTracks account, and then under your account, you can have the different groups, and you can assign different users to be able to manage different groups or different networks. And so you could have a user that has access to network group A, but not B, C, and D, can have another user that has access to groups C and D, but not groups A and B. But if that user needed to access network one, which is over here in group A, you can give them access to just network one in addition to their other groups. Um, and I'll show you how that works in a, a little bit later. A quick overview of the difference between roles and permissions. So roles, they define the user's ability to create, edit, and delete users, um, networks, and network groups. They are defined when you create that account, and they can't be changed once you've done that. So if you need to make a change to a user's role after they have been created, you'd have to delete them and then um, add them again. Where permissions, those uh, define the user's ability to change individual network settings. So if you want them to be able to change the SSID name or password, you can do that. Or if you only want them to be a viewer, that would be uh, like a read-only view. That would be you know, on the permission side. So uh, some of the functions that, uh, that roles define, they, are, uh, they have to do with how the users interact with the user management system. And so that means that the account admin or the account owner, they can uh, access the account management page. And then that uh, they will also be able to add, remove, and edit account admins. So the account admins, what are here? So the people who can access that account page. And then group managers, they have the ability to create new networks within the groups that they are assigned. And then they would also be able to delete networks that are in those groups, clone networks, and then add and remove uh, network users that are that are in those groups. And then a network user is is just able to be assigned permissions for uh, specific networks or specific network groups, and then they would be able to configure menu pages and access the access point page um, and switches pages. So under those permissions for, for those users, they are able to 
have three different permissions. So network editor, they can log in and they can make changes to those networks. A network viewer is a read-only view. And then voucher editor uh, means that they can log in and manage vouchers, just like the previous lobby login, which is useful for like a front desk at a hotel where they can, they can log in and only be able to uh, create new vouchers, manage uh, vouchers. Um, so as, as users are, are coming in and checking into the hotel, they can issue those vouchers on the fly, but they can't make any other network changes. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to um, actual contracts here for the demo. Once you've um, logged into the, the new system here, you'll have the, uh, up here in the top right corner, you'll have, you, you'll wanna go over to um, this drop down box here and then go down to account. Once you've gone to account, if you haven't managed, uh, migrated over to the new user management system yet, in this section here, you would see a prompt to go take you through a wizard to enable that on your account. This account has already already been migrated, so we don't see that. Another note is that new CloudTrax accounts, as of uh, just a couple weeks ago, they uh, were automatically created in the new user management system, so they are. Um, ready to go with this system. Um, they don't have anything on the old system at all. And an, another note is that it, once you have migrated over from uh, your master account login will be deleted, or will be disabled after 48 hours. So you'll need to make sure that you're logging in with your email address uh, rather than your master account name as it previously was. All right, so once you once you have the new user management system enabled, we go over to the top right section here and go to users. I'm going to add a new user for Joseph. Joseph Scarpelli. His email address is joseph.scarpelli at openmesh.com. Notes, he is sales beast. And um, his role, is going to be a network user. So I'm going to click next, and I have uh, a couple different network groups that I've I've created here. And so under network group one, I have several networks here. I don't want to give them access to all of these networks because uh, some of these are uh, just test networks of mine. Some of them are my home network. I don't want them to be changing settings on my home network. Uh, so I'm going to say he gets access to these, and then he also gets access to group two. I'm gonna click done. That, that's going to send him uh, an email, and then that's going to prompt him to go in and set, set up a password. And then once he's set up that password, he logs in, and we'll have the network editor functions. All right. So now I'm going to go over to uh, over here. So if you want to create new network groups, as long as you're logged in as an account admin, which um, my account here is an, an account admin, I can or a group admin, I can go in here and create a new network group. I'm going to call it the webinar group. And then it shows up down here. Now, right now, it doesn't have any networks in there. So what I can either do is a, I, I can go in and, and create a new network and put it in that network group, or I can take some of my existing networks here and then go up to the gear icon at the top right and move those networks. And then I'm going to move them into webinar group, click save, and now they are over in that webinar group. So now going back into users, I have several different users in here. So I have my network users, which is like what I created for, for Joseph. Uh, since this is a voucher editor, it's only going to be able to access those voucher accounts. So I'll show you what that looks like. If you log out, I'm gonna log in with Brian at openmesh.com. And 
And here, so I have access to um, the networks that I'm assigned to. I can see that these network groups under all networks, but if I uh, click on them, I'm only going to be able to create vouchers for that group. So if I want to create a new voucher, do that, and I have vouchers for that network. All right, so let me log back in with my admin account. Admin account here. Um, I can go in and see the audit logs. Um, so I've made several changes here. I shows me what when users have logged in. So I can see that I logged in just now um, with Brian Patterson at OpenMesh.com. I also had Brian at Open-Mesh.com that logged in. And then um, I've I made a, other couple changes here. So this is the updates to the network groups. Any other change uh, that you make in CloudTrax will be recorded there. All right. And uh, one more function. Um, so as since this is a new feature, you may have learned about it from uh, the little uh, gift icon that can show up here at the top right. But if you always want to know what's what's the newest thing in CloudTrax, you can go up to here and just say what's new, and it'll give you all the different uh, things that we've done. Looks like we actually announced New Year New Year's Management on January 10th. We pushed it to our stable release as of June 13th. All right. So I think uh, that. Uh, that covers everything that I wanted to cover here with uh, user management that we wanted to address to everyone. All right, thank you, Brian. So one of the questions we have is, uh, what is the difference between account admin slash owner? So the account owner is, functionally, they, they do mostly the same thing. It's just that the owner has the ability to make changes to uh, things like custom branding, and they are the authoritative user in everything that they do. All right, thank you. And another question is, uh, is there a limit to how many users I can have under my account? No, you can have virtually unlimited number of users under your account. What if uh, I were to lose access to the email I created a user with? So uh, you would need to delete that user and create a new user you, you can't just change their user their email address in there you need to create a new user for them okay can i change the login name to something else like username something that's not an email address no uh, so that is that is a requirement it has to be an email address we need it to be uh, unique and accountable so we chose email address as that function if you want to have the user with the same email address on different CloudTrax accounts, the email address has to be unique across both of those. So if you run into that situation, there's a couple things that we can do. If both of those CloudTrax accounts are yours, what we can do is merge those uh, master accounts together. We have a support article at help.cloudtrax.com that explains this. We also have the article for uh, that explains user management there as well, if you want to reference that. But if you wanted to do that, you can merge your master accounts together. Or uh, if you don't want to do that, uh, you can create it with a different email address. All right, thank you. Uh, what about having separate users for each SSID within the network? I think the use case for this question was uh, they were wondering if they could have like a user for each SSID? Um, and the answer is no. We'd be, we just have the network user, and that would control all four uh, SSIDs on, the, on that network. Yes. And as we get more and more feedback on the user management feature, we might we get more uh, granular count controls in here so that you can assign just specific SSIDs to different users. That's something that we're, we're constantly getting feedback about. So if you have any of those feature requests, definitely use the uh, I wish this page would text box that's at the bottom of, of the CloudTrax pages. We read those and use those to guide future CloudTrax development. 
Thank you, Brian and Stuart for hopping in. Another question we got is, if I have multiple master accounts, uh, how do I import them into one new user management account? Quick answer is open a ticket with support. Just send an email to uh, support at openmesh.com and they can get you started on that. Also take a look at the article that's at help.cloudtracks.com and just search for user management. That'll get you everything you need to know about user management. Okay. For clarification on differences between a couple types of users, what's the difference between a voucher editor and an admin? Yeah, so a voucher editor can only manage vouchers and then an admin can do everything in the account, such as change users, change permissions, and change network settings. The most restrictive user would be the network viewer because they can't make any changes at all. A voucher editor, as I showed you, can only manage vouchers. They can't even see anything that's on the network. And then network editors, uh, they can do anything, make any changes to the networks that they're assigned to. Okay, thank you, Brian. If you were to delete a user from the system, does it remove any audit log events related to that user? That data should not change retroactively just based on um, a user no longer existing because how it works is it, you know, it records the event and then it's it's saved, you know, there's uh, there wouldn't be any action that would go back and change the user if that user no longer existed. So. Okay, we have a, a couple more here. In the new CloudTracks interface, can you add more than one email address to be notified uh, when APs are down? Yeah, you, you can put a space in between uh, email addresses and that will allow you to to do uh, notifications for multiple email addresses. The last question you got here was, if I inherited a CloudTrax account, can I change ownership and maintain the original as a different role? You need to log in as the original account owner and then have that account owner change the ownership from that account to the new account. Thank you, Brian, for answering those and for our support staff jumping in as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to keep sending them into support or sales at OpenMesh. Uh, we'll be happy to walk you through anything that you may need. But that is all we have for today. So thanks again and have a great day.